Hi everyone, this is Raju Mathu and welcome you again. On my last video, I have shown you on swipe of any of the rows, we can display the delete button which will lead to delete any of the rows. So like here, if I swipe through the table row, we can display delete button for that specific row which will lead to the delete of that row. So here it is. So continuing with that, today I'm going to show you how can we add a circular red delete button on the left hand side of the row any of the row uh, all the rows and on click of that red button we can also display that delete button here associated with that row and we can delete that row as per our need requirement so let's do that so in order to do, do that we just need to simply add one more property with the table view as we have already added the editable equal to true so we need to again add in one more property which is editing and we need to make it as a true that's it now let's run the same application now here you can see that to display red delete icon on the left hand side of rows we just adding the editing true but if you are going to add this rows add uh, this property only associated with this table it will not work you need to both assign the editable property and also the editing property as true then only it will display the delete button and it will occur it will work as like it should be so here you can see that this is the table view with having all the rows and also you can see that the red delete small circular button is added along with all the rows so now if i click on this you can see that the red delete button on the right hand side get appeared along with the rows <coughs> that specific row so here you can see that we can toggle this delete button so if i again click on this delete it the row 4 should get deleted so here it is so these are the different ways we can apply on table rows to delete the specific rows so up to this for today so on my next video i will show you how can we drag and drop the rules so that we can order them as per our requirement thanks